it's me again, Ma'am Sess. So, in this video, pag-uusapan natin yung about sa colligative properties. Okay? We have here the electrolytes and non-electrolytes. And then, konting pahapyaw lang ng Van Hoff factor. So, when you say colligative properties, these are the properties that depend only on the number of solute particles in a solution and not on the nature of the solute particles. Okay? So, for colligative properties, um... Electrolytes have a greater impact than non-electrolytes. So, when you say electrolytes, it can be ionized when dissolved in um, in water. So, can be ionized when dissolved in water. And when you say naman na non-electrolytes, cannot be. Okay, so cannot be ionized when dissolved in water. So cannot be ionized when dissolved in water. Okay, so alamin natin ano ba yung difference ng electrolytes and non-electrolytes. Okay, so ito yung mga differences nila. When you say... Um, electrolytes, diba sabi ko, yung electrolytes, ito yung uh, na-ionize kapag na-dissolve siya sa water. And then, non-electrolytes naman, ito naman yung hindi na-ionize when dissolved in water. So, ano yung difference nila? When you say electrolytes, these are the chemical compounds that can be break down into ions when dissolved in water. And non-electrolytes naman, chemical compounds used aqueous solutions cannot conduct electricity through the solution. Um, under electrolytes then it composed of ionic bond. Okay, so when meron tayong ionic bond, syempre meron tayong ionic compound. So, ionic compounds are made up of cations and anions. Okay? And... For the non-electrolytes naman, it composed of covalent compound. So, ay, uh, covalent bond. So, kapag may covalent bond ka, meron kang covalent compound. So, these compounds in um, non-electrolytes, sila yung hindi nagpo-form or nag -e exist ng ionic form. Okay? Um, most of non-electrolytes are covalent compound. So, kapag na-dissolve to sa water, um, yung mga compound na yon ay hindi nagpo-form ng ions at all. Okay? So, electrolytes include acids, base, and salt. Okay? Di ba sa acid at saka sa base, meron tayong strong acids, we, uh, strong acids, strong base, weak acid, weak base. Okay? So, in strong acids and weak base, uh, strong acids and strong base, um, these are strong electrolytes since they can completely ionize in water. Okay? Kapag naman weak acids and weak base, ito naman ay considered as weak electrolytes. Bakit? Because the compounds are partially dissociate into ions. Okay? So, most of it are nitrogen-containing compounds which is considered as weak electrolytes. And syempre, water then is considered as weak electrolytes. Okay? Next, we have here sa non-electrolytes naman, we have, inclu it include um, carbon-containing compounds, fat and sugar. So, here, in carbon-containing compound, itong carbon compound na to, ito yung mga hydrocarbons, um, these are non-electrolytes. Bakit? Because this compound cannot dissolve in water. Okay, so sugar, um, some compounds such as glucose, okay, can be dissolved in water but do not ionize. Okay, so an aqueous solution of glucose is composed of glucose molecules. So therefore, sugar, fats, and alcohols are non-electrolytes. So usually, um, Itong non-electrolytes na to, sila yung mga non-polar compound. Okay? Next, electrolytes can be found as strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes. Okay, strong electrolytes 
um, ito yung mga um, completely ionized into its ions and weak electrolytes naman do not completely ionize into its ions. Okay? And then, non-electrolytes cannot be found as water-soluble compound and water-insoluble compound. So, yun yung difference ng electrolytes and non-electrolytes. Okay? So, colligative properties are, ito yung mga boiling point of, boiling point elevation. We have here the boiling point elevation. Okay? We also have the freezing point depression. And we have the osmotic pressure. Okay? So, all of these are affected not only in the concentration of the solution. Ito, yung mga M na to, molar. Ito. Ayan the M, but also affected by whether the solute is an electrolyte or non-electrolyte. Okay, so may mga, ano, may videos tayo, isa-isa na ito sa point, uh, boiling point elevation, we also have the freezing point depression and the osmotic pressure. Okay, so itong symbol na to, this is your boiling point elevation. Okay, and this is the molal. Molal boiling point elevation constant. Boiling point elevation constant. Okay? Your M here is the molality of the solution. Okay? ATF, this is your freezing point depression. Okay, so we're in your KF. Here is the molal freezing point depression constant. Molal freezing point um, depression constant. Okay, and then your M here is the concentration of the solute in molality units. Okay, so molality, um, concentration of the solute in molality units. Okay. And we have here the osmos, the osmotic pressure. Um, it expressed as or in ATM. Okay, your M here is the molarity of the solution. So this is the molarity of the solution. Your R here is the gas cost, uh, gas constant. Okay, so ang gas constant mo dito is constant. So, we have here 0 0.0821 liter per atom all over T mol. Okay, so your T here is the absolute temperature. Okay, so, magbibigay ako ng example nito. May kita nyo sa next videos natin yung about sa boiling point elevation, sa freezing point depression, and, and diasmotic pressure. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina, ba? itong lahat ng to are affected not only in the concentration of the solution, okay, but also affected by whether the solute is an electrolyte or non-electrolyte. Okay? So, let's have an example. Diba? Take note that 
non-electrolyte is a substance that does not dissociate when it dissolves. Okay? So, for example, meron tayong dalawang container dito. Sabihin natin, ito si container 1, C1, at ito naman si container 2. Ayan. C2. Si container 1 ay may maglalagay ako ng sugar. Okay. Si container 2 naman, maglalagay ako ng sodium chloride. So, parehas yan may, syempre, may water yan. Okay. So, may water, water. Ayan. So, here, sa container number 1, okay, so sugar, tapos sa container number 2 naman, Na positive, NCl negative. Okay. So, ano yung kinalaman nito sa non-electrolyte at saka sa electrolyte? Okay, this um, container number 1, this is is an example of a non-electrolyte. Okay, so this is non-electrolyte. Bakit siya naging non-electrolyte? Di ba sabi ko, pag sinabi nating non-electrolytes, it is a substance that does not dissociate when it dissolves. Okay? So, we have here sugar molecules, di ba? So, when it dissolves, In water, the sugar molecule stays completely intact. Okay? Um, none of the atoms of the... Or none of the atoms in the sugar molecules fall apart. So, meaning, um, kapag naglagay ako ng one mole of sugar dito, at madidissolve siya, ibig sabihin yan, one mole of sugar pa rin yung mare-remain dito sa container na to. Okay, so that is non-electrolyte. For container number 2 naman, this is an example of electrolyte. Bakit siya naging electrolyte? Electrolyte, on the other hand, um, is a substance that dissociates when it dissolves. Okay? So, example natin dyan, we have here the sodium chloride, NaCl. So, in sodium chloride, kapag nilagay natin siya dito sa water, um, take note na hindi lang siya nadi-dissolve, okay, but it dissociates into two separate particles. Ano yung, dalo, uh, ano yung mga particles na yon? We have here the sodium ion, Okay, the sodium ion and the chlorine ion. So, your sodium ion here is the cation and your chlorine here is the anion. Okay? So, since electrolyte dissociates into two, three, or more, the concentration of the particles is greater for an electrolyte than for a non-electrolyte. Ayan, non-electrolyte. So, kung titignan natin yung particles nila, mas marami, o kung titignan natin yung particles na meron sa electrolytes, mas maraming particles na present dito sa solution na to, compare dito kay non-electrolyte. Okay? So, we can take this into consideration if Ika-calculate natin yung boiling point. Kapag pinag-uusapan na natin yung boiling point, elevation, okay, yung freezing point, depression, depression, or osmotic pressure. Okay. So, we can take this into consideration if i-calculate natin ang boiling point, freezing point, depression, or yung osmotic pressure by using another variable. Okay? So, ano yung, um, ano yung another variable na sinasabi ko? Yung another variable na sinasabi ko, that is the vent. Ay, mali. The vent. Walang, ano yun, walang apostrophe. 
Okay. Ayan. The bank of factor. Okay. So, this band of factor symbolizes with a lowercase i. Ayan. So, sa next video, pag-uusapan naman natin anong kinalaman ng band of factor sa um, colligative properties ng sa boiling point elevation, sa freezing point depression, and sa osmotic pressure ng non-electrolyte at saka ng electrolyte. Okay? So, see you sa next video about band of factor. Um, thank you for listening. I hope na intindihan yung difference ng electrolyte at saka non-electrolytes at naintindihan nyo yung colligative properties. Okay? So, band of factor, boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, and desmotic pressure. And abangan nyo yung mga videos na yan. Okay? So, thank you for listening. I hope may natutunan kayo. God bless us all. Bye!